Boris, you're off tempo. It's 4 4, not 5 8. What are you talking about? I don't have four drum sets. Come on, keep the timing right. Whatever. 5, 6, 7, 8. Peter, do you think that Boris and Bruno will ever become famous drummers like they want to? Well, nothing's impossible. Oh, what are you guys doing? Berry picking. Want to come with? No can do. We're working on our hit single. <laughs> I don't want us to get lost. Should we turn back? Huh? Peter, listen! It's a creek. Too bad it's so far from Grandma's house. Huh? Not that far. Hmm. We must have made a giant circle. The houses are over there. On that side of the creek. Huh? Hmm. Uh. Uh. Huh. Huh. Uh. Uh. Snack. You know what this place could use? A walkway. I agree. This looks like a job for the Turbozors. <sighs> ah, you want a trail? We should clear out the branches. How many hills are there? One, two, three. <laughs> Can this log help? I know. What if we used these logs to make a walking path like a bridge across the pond? Hmm. Chuck can look for more fallen trees. Thor, you can saw them into stepping blocks. Unky, you can help put them in the creek at the right places. We should be careful not to disturb the plants, too. This area has a lot of pretty ones. Yeah, you're right. This will be a real nature trail. <laughs> All this talk of a nature trail makes me feel like dancing. Oh. <laughs> go, go, Turbozords! You want a commemorative photo? Not really, Jerry. Thanks for offering to help me out here. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> this nature trail is looking great. Well done, guys. We're not done yet. I've got labels. What a positively whimsical plant. It's carnivorous. It's sticky inside, so it can catch flies. When uh -huh. bugs smell the flower, the plant just eats them up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> no, you're a lot bigger than a little bug. This plant would never be able to eat a dinosaur. Good work. The nature trail is open for business. Excellent work, everybody. You guys are the best friends ever, because we couldn't do it alone. I can't wait to drink some fresh spring water. What a nice surprise. Oh, I never knew such interesting plants were around here. I wonder who did all this. Hmm. I wish I knew of this spring earlier. This lovely cold water is just so refreshing. Huh? Look! Huh? 
Mmm, mmm. Uh, this world's full of the unknown. Like, I wish I knew how to play the drums, but oh well. Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck, your Torbosaurus friends. Now they are on funny stickers in Viber. Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends. Huh? <laughs> 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 I uh, gotcha! <laughs> but only because these trees were in my way. It's a forest, Thor. The trees were there first. <laughs> it's okay, Thor. You'll catch up to them next time. You might just want to keep an eye out for the trees. They snuck up on me. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> It seems like they're building a new road. Now you're speaking my language. Building. How I would love to be a part of it. It's okay to dream, Thor. But it looks like they have enough workers without us. Nothing is impossible, Bull. Machinery breaks down all the time, so they might find themselves in need of a backup. And that backup could be me? Exactly. So when the builders leave, Chuck will get rid of the gate. And Thor, Unky, and Bull, you just stay parked in the place where the other machines are. Jerry, you capture it all on video so that both Katie and I can watch everything happen from right here. So we're just gonna sit there doing nothing? I think that's what he said. That sounds like fun to me. Is everybody ready? Well then, go, go, Turbozord! <laughs> Quiet. <sighs> You'd think they were working on a construction site. And in just a few moments, we will witness the payoff performance of our backup plan in action. And where is Thor? Thor's cool. He was entrusted with his own special section.
Way to go. Our Thor has made a name for himself. Everyone's so happy with his work. And yet, someone else got all the glory. Danger alert! Danger alert! They want to send Thor to the shop! Send him to the shop? Well, we have to help him. Yeah! Woohoo! We did it, guys! Yeah! <sighs> it's such a pity. I had to leave the build at the most crucial of moments. Maybe this will make you feel better, superstar. Technology on the verge of fantasy! <laughs> I think I remember someone saying I eat too much. Well, I say that famous fantasy machines need extra food for extra energy. Speaking of food, it's time for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to try it? I know you'll have a good time, Chuck. You really think that I could? <laughs> you want to try and park that thing? Maybe for everyone else's sake. I'm trying! <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. That hurt, Chuck! Oh, I'm sorry, Thor. These buttons are really small, and I have giant hands. Uh. I'm afraid uh. we dinos just aren't suited to play with race cars, Peter. But I wanted to play a racing game. Aww. Uh. Uh, hang on, we're all giant vehicles. Why don't we all have a real race? Uh, uh. How do you expect to have a race in the woods? And furthermore, we can't be on the highway. I got it. We could just build our own track here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think there's enough room to build a track here, but it'll take some work. Here, look. It's okay if the track curves, but we'll have to clear out a bunch of rocks and plants and stuff. What do you mean, clear out plants? There's some great plants here. Don't tell me you'll move them. Lily of the Valley? Lily who? It's a flower in this field, even though they aren't blooming. It's an endangered flower here. So they're rare, like super rare. We have to protect nature, Peter. We'll figure something out to save them. We can transplant the Lily what's her face with soil. Bull? Can you uproot the stumps? Mm-hmm. And Unky, can you help move them? Uh-huh. Thor, you can break up the soil to prepare for the road. Uh-huh. Joe, use your big tires to flatten the path. Hmm. Chuck, you and Katie can help move the flowers. <sighs> and Jerry? Jerry? Hmm. Jerry can nap. What for? Because this is your racetrack. I don't have wheels the way the rest of you do. I can't even race with you all. You can be the judge then. Really? The judge? That sounds important enough for me. I'll do it. Go, go, Turbozors! On your marks, get set, go!
probably would have been first if I hadn't been shoved off the track. But you shoved me off too. It'd be easier if I had wheels or treads. What do you mean, Chuck? Huh? You won because it's easier for you to win. I judge you all lose. I thought this would be a fun and fair fight today. I don't know. It's difficult because we all have such different skills. Oh man, I'm sorry. But how do we make it fair? I know. There's a really simple way to make this more fun. Let me think. You can do it as dinosaurs. Sound good? On your marks, get set, and we're off! Well, of course Chuck would win. He's got the longest legs of us all. <laughs> Oh. Chuck, are you okay? Never better. Let the race go on. Huh? Looks like everyone won. What a great race that was. By the way, don't you think we should have some sort of aerial race next? With a wonderful prize for the winner? Yes? <laughs> Why are you all laughing? And don't you think it'd be fun? <laughs> And they all lived happily ever. Huh? Peter, you turn on our show and I'll get the ice cream. Is that okay with you, Grandma? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh? Huh. Now why isn't the TV working? And the freezer isn't working either. All of the ice cream has melted. I guess the electricity's out. No cartoons and no ice cream. How are we going to live? Well, we'll just have to do things the old-fashioned way. Huh? Uh. I have just the thing. What I have here is... A dynamo machine. When you crank it, it generates electricity. So, I am going to see if the neighbors need help with their electric. Choo! Mm. Uh, uh, no good. It's rusted solid. And we need to be able to turn it hard enough so the light comes on. Uh, it won't budge. What do we do now? We call in the turbozors. That's what. Did someone say turbozors? Huh? <laughs> Best to leave this in the hands of a professional. <laughs> leave it to the professionals, Jerry. Chuck is right. But Jerry, we need you to fly on a mission to see why all the lights went out. Go, go, turbo source, 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 go, go, turbo source. The electricity went out because a windmill fell over, and then. Why are you all looking at me like that? The wind is so strong, the windmill tilted over. Why does it have that, uh, propeller? It works just like a dynamo machine. Only the wind turns the blades, and they generate electricity. And electricity is what runs the refrigerator, the TV, and turns on all the lights. In order to fix the windmill, we need to first put it back in its place. Chuck, you lift it up, <laughs> we'll help. And Jerry, you wave the flag once it's standing tall. Hmm? Ready? Go, go, Turbozords! A 
righty. Lift, lift. Now back. Ah, ah. Yeah, just checking to see how deep it is. I gotta say, it's pretty deep. What? What? I'm just shooing a bee away. Shoo! Shoo! We have to hook the windmill higher up, and Unky's cable won't reach. I've got what you need. Set in five minutes and be harder than stone. Not even a hurricane will move. But what should we do about that? Hey. We have to catch it. Turbozords, follow that coil. <gasps> I still think electricity is a powerful and rather useful invention. Grandma. We cranked up the dynamo, but the lamp still won't turn on. Why is that? Oh, it seems that bulb burned out about a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it! you did wasn't me my ball didn't hit those flowers look their footprints must have been some animal here who crushed them with his feet <gasps> hello we didn't know you had a cat <clears throat> he's not mine he lives on his own so if he's done anything wrong, it's not my fault. What's his name? How should I know? I call him Kitty, or Snow Leopard. Kids, it's time to eat now. I'm all done. Everything tasted great. Grandma, can we help you wash the dishes? Oh, no thank you. We'll wait for hot water to come back. Go have fun. Kitty! Here, kitty. What happened? The cat is gone. Maybe he moved on. I kind of liked having him around. <sighs> Poor thing's probably far away by now. I don't think we'll ever find him. Kitty! Don't give up hope so soon. See? Look here. Aren't those his tracks? We can follow them. I know who can help us. <laughs> and now he's lost. Sounds like a pickle. We'll go find that cat. Jerry? One step ahead of you, Bull. <laughs> Target spotted nearby. Follow me. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. <laughs> Looks like he doesn't trust us. Go, go, Turbozors! Chuck, can you reach up there? He's scared. What do we do now? I have an idea. What if we make a ladder? Watch. Thor, make a base for the stairs. Joe, we'll need lots of timber for this. Unky, go help. Chuck, you can split the logs for the ladder rungs. Rope. J 
Jerry, fix the rope. <laughs> Whoa, what? What's that? Oh, I think I know. It's new pipes for the water system. That's why Grandma had no hot water. Oh no, huh? come back. Kitty? Kitty! Well, don't just stand there, Peter. Call the dinosaurs. As luck would have it, we need your help again. I see. Kitty's at it again. We'll need to be careful with this one, team. Chuck, you look into every pipe. If there's no cat, we'll need to put it very carefully into the trench. Unky, help us put the pipes in the ground. Thor? Dig away. What should we do? You guys have the most important job, making sure the cat doesn't run away once we find it. kids. What a naughty boy running away. Home is where the heart is. Right, Cat? Of course. This can be your home now. So what brings you kids to the woods alone? You humans might get lost. We won't get lost here. You could say we practically live here, so we know it's safe. I know every rock and tree. We're on summer break. Our grandmother lives nearby. We're staying there. Our parents are working in the city, but they visit us on weekends. We should introduce ourselves. Well, my name is Katie, and these are my brothers, Peter and Florian. <laughs> Do you all have names as well? Of course. First stop. Oh, wow. Cool. Huh? <laughs> Thor. That's incredible! Shock! Whoa! 
<laughs> Here you go, for the scrapbook. Everything today is like a wild dream. You're right, it's cool. <laughs> so nobody else knows this? How does that happen? How do you all stay hidden in the woods? You're all ginormous. Do we show him? We'll, we'll show him! him. Panels. Thanks to these bad boys, we have all the energy we need. It must have taken ages to create all this. It truly did, you're right. We had a couple million years. But, uh, you're always in the woods or underground. Don't you get bored or lonely? There's a great, big, beautiful world left to see. Yeah, it does get kind of boring every now and then. And lonely. But we have a solution. Bull! In this form, we have more freedom to go where we please. So wonderful! Hang on. You're telling me this whole time, when we're downtown, and we see cars driving around the streets and stuff, it might have been you guys? That's uh -huh. right! Mind-blowing! <laughs> Look alive, folks! A human's approaching! Understood. Until next time. <laughs> Afternoon, Mr. Charlie. Hello there, children. Seen any <laughs> good mushrooms around here? Not here, Mr. Charlie. Have you? Nothing <laughs> interesting here. We were just on our way home. See you later, Mr. Charlie. Get home safely, you kids. This time last year, this place was teeming with fungi, and now, not a single one. What in tarnation? Hmm. Some weird graffiti.
taking a right at the thorny bush, we head three finger lanes north. And we find the big log. Should be it. Right? Uh, whose finger lanes? Mine. One and a half of yours. <laughs> Sound good? Let's go! Go, go, Turbo Sword! Where to, Captain? Adventure! 